message three. This is John Grissom, St. Louis County. I was giving you a call back. Phone number three one four six one five seven four three six six. Well, the guy did call back, but it was 7.30 in the morning, and as it took over three hours to upload my vlog from yesterday, it was about a quarter to five in the morning when I finally got to bed. I think AT&T U-verse, I think they dialed down my power, because I'm not uh, over at their store buying all kinds of stuff. I have basic service, so I'm not important to them. I highly suspect that. Be that as it may. I guess I was sound asleep at 7.30 in the morning when a guy called. So Rick had mom's car for car inspection for the license, uh, or the British call it MOT, at a local mechanic garage. So I went with him. It didn't take very long. And then from there we went to the government place to go talk to this guy. And you have to enter through a metal detector, and you have to empty out all your pockets or your purses or whatever, and they go through a, an x-ray machine, and you have to walk through an x-ray machine, and I thought, Richard has an ostomy bag. Is that going to pick up on that x-ray machine? And she has to go searching around on him. She's going to find a big surprise. Ugh. Ugh. If you don't know what an ostomy bag is, look it up. It's a poo bag. For people that have had surgery and or have had problems with their intestines. Yeah, lovely. Anyway, so we went in, we got through. We went in, found the right department, and there was a secretary at the desk. Her name is Sandy, a black gal. She says, well, can I help you? And I said, well, we came to see this John guy. He's not in, he's out. Yeah, okay, well, we kind of figured that, so. He won't be in the rest of the day. And I thought, you know that for a fact? I said, you know that for a fact? He's not going to come back the rest, not even into the office? No. Really? How does he, how does he do his work? Because I used to have that job, and you get yourself situated and organized. You go out and do your stuff, and then you come back in, and you log down what you've done. You don't just go home. I don't, something's not right. Anyway, can you want to talk to someone else? And I said, well, I could talk to someone else. We're going to need an extension. Well, how much longer of an extension do you need? I said, well, you gave me like one week. And I said, it's a big project and it needs a lot more time than that. It needs, I need a month. Richard said, two more weeks at least. And she said, okay, two more weeks. So you got to talk to that John guy. Really? Can't talk to anyone else. Got to talk to that John guy. And I asked who called it in. She didn't. She didn't know anything. She know. I know nothing. I know nothing. Like Schultz from the TV show Hogan's Heroes. I know nothing. I see nothing. I know nothing. So we were basically spinning our wheels. Since it was in the same area where the election officialing training and stuff goes on, I said to Rick, I have to see if they found a place for me to, to be an election official for this upcoming election. Because the place I normally would had been um, is closed for renovation, and then last time they had me at some Korean church, which is not participating in it this time, so I had to find a new place. And as I was an assistant supervisor, the the lady bent up. She said, oh, we'll find you a good place. And she says, do you want one like a home base? One that you go to each election? I said, well, that would be nice, but I don't really care as long as it's closer to where I live. Oh, we'll find you one. We'll find you one. But it was good to put a face with a name, you know, on a voice. So I now, I now know what my new location supervisor is. Uh, the last one was Cindy, and she has a very distinctive voice, and I, she has a good sense of humor, so we'd talk on the phone, you know, like when she'd call up to assign me a place or something, she ha has a good sense of humor. I hope Maureen has a good sense of humor, too. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. 
So then we went to a place out in uh, what was it? O'Fallon, Missouri, which was about 30 minutes west on the highway, to a place called Oscar Wilson. They have parts for things like chainsaws and car a thing. He needed some kind of carburetor kit for something he's repairing for someone. So we went there and he picked that up. On the way back we stopped at a John Deere place because Rick has a John Deere lawn tractor that's having trouble starting. It's either a little starter module which is about this big or it's a starter coil or it's the wire itself. And I said, Rick, you know, you just got to start with the cheapest, easiest thing to check first, like the wire. And then, if those are fine, then you go to the coil, because that's not as expensive as this little square thing was $90. And you, it's an electric part, you cannot return it. Which is what the guy said. He said, you can bring it in here and we'll check it out for $90. And if that's it, then part of the price of the thing is taken off of the... Anyway, otherwise you're just not going anywhere. So we, let's see, then we went home, came here, and I showed Rick what I had done as far as I got in the backyard, you know, trimming and all that. And what else did we do? Not a whole lot. Then he went home, and I was just like falling asleep standing up. I, when he was driving home, it's a good thing I wasn't driving because I would have fallen asleep. I was just so tired. And I had to lie down. And I never like to miss Jeopardy, and it comes on at 4.30. It was about 3.30, and I said, I can't take it. I, I waited and waited in case that guy called back before he left work, you know, 3.30. No. So I lay down, and I had a lie down, and next thing I know, it was three hours later. And I, I came to, but I just, I felt so sick and so awful and so run over. I felt like I was run over by a truck. I didn't want to get up, but I heard the cat, so I thought, oh, he's hungry. So, so I got up, and I had some chili, and he had some tuna fish, and he was sleeping by the back window, and my shoulder's hurting again. I'll be taking a handful of medicine before I go to bed. And do I go over there to the government office place at 7 in the morning tomorrow? Do I try to meet this guy? Don't know. We were supposed to have had a terrible storm about an hour ago, but it hasn't hit yet. But with all the storms and everything, and the ground is so wet back there, you sink in when you're walking through the backyard. So, really? Oh. I don't know. I really want to get to the center of all of this. And yeah, I'm just I'm tired of being dicked around. If I want to be dicked around, it's better be a good dicking around, you know what I mean? Upward and onward. <laughs>